Thank you, Madam Speaker. I won't be, I won't be very long because this bill goes in a, is a very positive one and goes in the right direction. I still remember in one of these interventions, my colleague, I think it was for budget time or on another uh, legislation while we were discussing, made suggestions to the minister with regard to the payment of fixed penalties. We all know the difficulties which those who are taken on fine with regards to payments and the, the proposals of the minister goes in the right direction to facilitate payment, especially with regard to fixed penalties. The introduction of the electric driving license was also at a moment where we have seen, to, even this morning we have had, I asked question about this issue of fake driving license and also these issues of the, uh, concerning the National Transport Corporation, which I won't go into the details. There are a few questions I would like to ask the Minister at least to clarify, because once this, this uh, new system comes into operation, it will be up to the, to the NTA, at least the relevant authority, to see that it is well implemented. It would be a new uh, type of driving license, an electronic one, modern one, but while working into the, uh, with regard to the details, the implementation is very much of great importance. My query would be what about the tourist drivers? How would they be taken care of? And also, what will happen to international driving licenses issued to Mauritians while proceeding overseas? and the validity of such new licenses in Commonwealth countries. Because many Mauritians, we, use, we, we travel, uh, many Mauritians travel, and with the issue of a new electronic device, how would that uh, be uh, taken care by in other countries? The electronic driving license card, which would be, which come into operation, the Minister has, has stated concerning I may, I'll inform us of the security aspect. When these cars will be procured, and information will be on the driver, that will be made available to third party. So the Minister must give us more information about the security aspects, as we may have one procurement contractor, and then once a procurement, another comp procurement contractor comes, uh, takes over, how would the whole issue of security be taken care of. The Minister may also inform us how will road checks be done? As some of these card readers, you see other card readers, will have to be given to police to inform us officers and the police. They also what would be what would be the procedures, the security aspects, we all know Mauritius how things are evolving. Uh, I won't go into the correction aspect, so I think the Minister should give us some information with regards to uh, enforcement, the uh, different, I would say, security measures which will be taken care of. We have seen in other countries where the national, the national identity card is being used uh, also because on the national identity card, which is still embedded in a, with a SIM card, which is disactivated. So whether consideration has been given for using the ID, the present ID, uh, for the purposes of having this driving license instead of spending public money again. Again, the IT system, once this new system is put into operation, the IT system will need to be upgraded to capture the details on the new licenses. So here, there again, high cost implementations when the NIC department already has the system. There also the government online service can be used. Madam, Madam Speaker, the, this legislation, according to the Minister, was in line with progress, with the uh, uh, new ventures of the Minister, but again, as we go on, 
the increasing number of road accidents has not stopped. The ministers inform us of the various investments which are made with regard to the road developments, but they also, I think there should be more coordination between the uh, RDA, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, and the local authorities. Because local authorities are, have a responsibility for non-classified roads, and the uh, uh, RDA has a responsibility of classified roads. We have been discussing for months about the Metro Express project. And I'll again impress upon the Minister to go and see at Van Dermen Street the quality of work. I'll give him one example at Corner Malarchik and Van Dermen, and also River on Liban. Whilst we are, well, we are, I won't go into other uh, roads, non classified or classified roads, which are outside my constituency. I have one specific case, which is in constituency of Rosil, where I reside, and also uh, in Bobassin, where the type of work which has been carried out, full of respect, which can, pro can cause accidents during the months to come. So, there again, Madam, I'll ask the Minister to, to have an overall look not only to see what we are here doing in terms of the road accident. Madam Speaker, I won't go long. I say this is a, a part of our direction, so implementation, implementation of the project. Uh, I would say public awareness, how uh, the minister would communicate. I, 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 we all believe, we all think we are an expert in communication. How the RDA, the different uh, section of the ministry, will communicate to the public through the MBC instead of doing political uh, programs, but at least to use the MBC in, for, for positive things, such as to, ex to explain to the population this new uh, venture which the Ministry and the Minister are doing on. Thank you, Madam Speaker.